The travel bubble with New South Wales and Queensland is paused, which means our ability to find new adventures is pretty limited, as you know. However, instead of looking for unique experiences, maybe we should listen and taste our way around New Zealand. So to talk about the magic of song and supper, we're now joined by singing legend Jeff Sewell and award-winning chef um, Josh Emmett. Good to see you guys. When you're smiling, <laughs> when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. Guys, this, this energy in this room is just so magic. Celebrate what, what, what is it? Magic. The chocolate? <laughs> yes. We, we're going to hand this around because there's five of us and five of them. So there we go for you guys, some Tonys. Thank oh, you very much. What, you would have that. Would you, I got the pink one. Would you use dark chocolate in your cooking? Use uh, dark, light, all sorts in varying degrees and sometimes mix the two. Do you, be do you believe in our, our poll today that people like dark chocolate as much as they like dairy milk? I do actually, because a lot of people go down the dark chocolate route. Yeah, it's they? actually really, really, really good, and it feels healthier. I'm not 100 uh, percent sure whether it always is. is, it, is but there it, you go. Oh, I love that. Mm. Hey, anyway, White Homo Caves, mate, fantastic. Yeah, but we've got one better. What are you doing, Josh Emmett and me I at the top of, of the Park Hyatt, man, <laughs> in the penthouse. Like just the two of you, <laughs> brothers from another mother. So we thought, well, let's elaborate and do something because it's all about staycation. So, so pick, paint me a picture. What does it look like? What, what are you doing? What is it? So I'm going to do a concert for. Uh, there's only 80 intimate guests at the atrium at the Park Hyatt in Auckland, and then we're going to whip them up in the uh, elevator, and then at the penthouse, Josh is going to give them the freaking culinary, blow their senses and taste. Um, we're going to shuck oysters. We're going to drink moe. It's going to be fun, mate. Josh, I'm just, <laughs> you, can, you can see that I'm just going to follow uh, Jeff's lead on this yes. one. Yeah, right. Um, yes. So we, we, we've been friends for a long time. So we thought we'd do a, a, a collaborate on an event um, for Elemental. And, yeah, that's exactly it. So how do you limit it to 80? So, how, I mean, so 80, what, they buy tickets and they go along? Or yeah, so fortisevents.co.nz forward slash soundbite. So mm. it's part of the Elemental Festival. Yes. So we're just trying to, um, you know, celebrate the magic yes. of being alive, <laughs> guys. But like, it's also got a good cause because you're raising money, I understand, for autism. Is yes. that correct? Talk us through that. So Simon and I, my journey is, so when we left Amici Forever, it was because um, we uh, had a child with autism. So we set up the Sewell Foundation in New Zealand, which is there to inspire people to, to, to create hope. So autism is treatable and recovery is possible because when um, Sienna was diagnosed, there wasn't a lot of hope. And so we're inspiring people and saying, hey, look, this is what can happen. You can live a fantastic How life. How tough is it as a parent with that diagnosis? It's tough. Yeah, yeah. It's really tough, as you all know. You know, it's with kids, you know, if it's something tough happens enough, to your it? kid, you just, you know, you want to be there for them. So mm. we, we basically researched and did everything we could to heal her gut. And then it's given her an incredible life. So we're so blessed. And we just want to share that with everyone. So the Sewell Foundation for Autism is where all the money uh, from the sound bites is. This guy's got energy, Josh. Isn't he? He's, I've seen him perform a couple of times over the years, and he stitched me up one time actually because he sort of does these surprise performances. Oh, he not stitched, those ones. Stitched me up in very, way. very well actually. <laughs> uh, so yeah, an incredible performer. Uh, so I will just be, you know, quietly cooking in the no, background. You won't be. I've got, to, I've got to, you know, no, he's, um, not. he's hard to keep up with. Josh is going to be on the mic. It's like going to be the chef's table. Uh, at the top of the park height, and Josh is going to be talking us through it. He's, we're going to be shacking oysters. We're going to be. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah, so, I mean, he is the master chef. And yeah. So, jo are you trying to sort of food match for what Jeff is singing? Well, we did. We had the discussions around that actually, and and I haven't completely nailed the menu yet. I'm still I'm still tiptoeing around various little ideas. But um, <laughs> yes, it's 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 about that. It's about the two things together: music and food, which is two things that actually I I love most. Mm. So um, there you go. It's going to be great. Now, last time we had you on, we were talking about one of the tours, uh, Jeff, and you actually went on tour. And talk us through that because you both have had a tough time in COVID. Both your industries have been hit hard. What was it like though, getting up between before packed audiences? Audiences and been able to do your craft again. Listen, as humans, we just want to connect, and music connects people like nothing else. Like if music be the food of love, then play on. That's what Shakespeare said, and that's what we're all about. So when we packed the Aotea Centre out, I had everyone holding hands, no social distancing, no nothing. Everyone was just singing at the top of their voices, and I cried because I haven't done that for. 18 months. I remember talking to you, you were in the lounge at your house and you were desperate to get out that front door and go and perform and see people and feel people and, and have that experience again. Yeah. Wasn't everything you wanted it to be? Oh, it was, and more. And also Sienna, my 18-year-old daughter, she was up there on stage with me and that was the greatest moment of my life, you know, singing the prayer 
um, and and just having that time with family and Carl Doy and Jonathan Lamalu and Cameron Barclay and the string quartet. Is it also about being Spring. home as well? Because you spend so much time overseas. Yeah. Is it about being here? Well, you mentioned before coming on air, like when we did the Waitomo Caves event, there's something magical and spiritual about this country, Aotearoa, New Zealand. It's just so magic and, and, and music. Look, how good is the Waitomo Caves? The senses. If people haven't been to the caves, I mean, there's something special, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's magic. You must all go. It's, you know, just so great. Did you sound different down there? Um, I s sound great wherever I sound. <laughs> Did I just say that out loud? You're yes. allowed to, because it's true. <laughs> uh, was it, it might have been yesterday, Josh, where I think a few restaurants around the country were having two, two minutes, they were turning the yeah. lights out because yep. of the difficulty to get staff uh, as a protest. Have you had any issues in your restaurants with staff? Oh, look, I think the, the industry as a whole is going through incredibly difficult times and has been for the last 18 months, and it's probably going to continue. So, yeah, there's, there's, it's, it's a... It's a Large discussion that one. Um, Have you got mates who've lost their restaurants and that sort of thing? Hey, listen, c c New Zealand, we've actually been coping reasonably well, I think, in the grand scheme of things. You know, I, I don't know how my friends and colleagues in, in you know, New York, for instance, or um, London have got through. I really don't understand how they have survived through the last 18 months. Mm. It's really di really difficult. Well, our guys have done well, I think. Mm. Good to see you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Yes. So, so get along. FortisEvents.co.nz, Elemental, Soundbites, Josh and Jeff. Thank we you very much. We love you. Celebrate the magic. Uh, that is New Zealand dinner, Jeff Sewell, and celebrity chef Josh Emmett. Josh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, brilliant stuff.